clean fire. Forget about solar panels, wind turbines, and other modern inventions. Woodmaster's sophisticated wood-burning furnace is all you need to keep your home cozy and warm. As you may have noticed, the furnace is out here on the street. No, it's not there just for shooting commercials. This is where it does its job. And that's why this furnace is the one to go to for heating. No messy logs inside the house, no smoke, chimney fires, bugs, and all other things that other options are famous for. However, this wood furnace offers more than just that. It can work with most existing heating systems, including forced air, hydronic, and others. So how does an external wood furnace heat up a home and other spaces? Well, it's pretty straightforward. You connect it to, say, the hydronic heating system using pipes, then you load it up with firewood and light it up. The water inside heats up, then circulates through the pipes placed inside the house. As a result, even without electricity or connection to the city heating system, the inside of the house stays comfortably warm. Warm. If the climate is harsh or doesn't require heavy heating, the company offers a range of furnaces. For instance, there's the Clean Fire 300 with a fuel chamber volume of 79 gallons and the Clean Fire 900 with a larger chamber of 237 gallons. They also have options in between, so finding the right furnace for your situation is no trouble at all. Gray Water System Almost any water you've already used at home can be reused. All you need to do is install a system from Flowtender Systems. It's basically a tank connected to your home's drainage system. The dirty water goes in, gets filtered inside, and then you can either store it or use it right away. The filter isn't magic, so don't expect it to turn sewage into drinking water, but it does make water from laundry or baths good enough for other stuff like washing your car. You can even hook it up to your garden irrigation. Bottom line, you save clean water for where it's really needed. Yeah, the system is quite an investment depending on the model, prices vary, but they all start at over $6,000. However, if you're using the bathtub a lot, doing laundry regularly, and all sorts of other stuff that leaves you with reusable water, the system pays for itself relatively quickly. Solar Bubble Dryer if you're growing crops on your plot, you can dry them without using electricity using these Grain Pro drying sacks. They're simple polyethylene bags that work like a charm. Getting rid of moisture from stuff packed inside works thanks to a couple of basic factors. The bag's upper section is clear, allowing sunlight in. This warms up the air inside, making moisture evaporate, which is then pushed out by other stuff like fans. And here's the kicker. The fans can be hooked up to solar panels, so they don't need to draw power from the grid. According to its creators, this solution allows products placed inside to dry at a rate of 0.5% per hour. However, in hot conditions, it can take anywhere from 6 to 8 hours to fully dry when the moisture content's between 14 and 22%. While these numbers might not sound mind-blowing, the perk is you can dry your goods without using electricity. Plus, this dryer isn't just drying, it doubles as a regular storage unit, shielding your products from unexpected rain, bugs, and anything else that could cause harm. Solar Trees Turns out the plants in the backyard can provide not only food but also energy. Isn't that amazing? Here are some devices that look like plants just because of their appearance, but actually they're just fancy structures with solar panels in them. You can tell from the video there are different devices you can set up in the backyard. Take these sunflower-like things, for example. Depending on their size and the number of solar panels they have, their power can range from 1 to 25 kilowatts, and because they can rotate, they can produce anywhere from 4 to 64 kilowatt hours per day. According to the creators, that's 20% more than a regular solar power station. Need more juice? You can add another tree in the backyard. As you can see, this one has more panels, so its power output reaches 20 kilowatts. According to the creators, with five such solar trees, you can generate 2,055,000 kilowatt hours of clean energy over 25 years. That sounds pretty neat. Plus, those solar trees and sunflowers won't just be good for generating energy. They can also provide cover for important equipment, keeping it partly shielded from rain, snow, hail, and the sun.
How can you spruce up your backyard solar forest? For instance, plant solar flowers that can juice up your gadgets and even let a solar cow roam around. Yes, you heard it right. Cows with solar panels do exist. Fog Catcher Fog can help boost a home's self-sufficiency. How? Imagine a system that turns fog into water. This surprisingly handy autonomous system has a few key parts. The first and most standout one is the mesh, usually made of stainless steel or polypropylene. This mesh works like a charm when fog rolls in. It catches water droplets, gathers them up, and channels them down. Then there's a second part of the setup waiting for the droplets, a gutter system. These can be made from various materials, but they need to withstand strong winds and tough weather. Once the water trickles into the gutter, it moves on to the next component, which is basically a tank to hold the liquid. Here the water collects and you can use it for various purposes, with the most obvious being quenching thirst. Just make sure to buy filters too, to prevent any risk of contamination. Grain Pro Cocoon Using these bags, you can create a reliable storage solution for everything grown in your backyard. What does autonomy have to do with it? These storage units can hold a good amount of produce, ensuring you have enough food stocked up for a long time. They're made from tough PVC, which is their biggest advantage. It's simple. This material helps them withstand any weather conditions and keeps rodents like mice and rats at bay as they love sneaking into storage areas with tasty harvests. Plus, these bags are both waterproof and airtight, so they can even protect your goods during floods. Just make sure the water level doesn't rise above the zipper line. Also, the manufacturers added openings to their bags. These are useful when unwelcome visitors find their way inside. Through these holes, a device connects to spray poison, filling the bag and eliminating the pests. Biogas Plants all sorts of organic waste could be turned into a resource, making a house fully or partially self-sufficient with the help of biogas systems. The systems may vary, but the basic idea and key components remain the same. A main tank is installed on the site to hold organic waste. Inside, anaerobic microorganisms start reproducing, kicking off a fermentation process that produces biogas. This gas can either be directly fed into generators to make electricity or stored in special containers. You can find something to suit any Anyone's taste with their wide range. There are storage units designed as bags in various colors and shapes black, white, red, blue, you name it. They can be stretched out or flattened, whatever works best. Then there's another type of storage, the stationary kind. However, they're not as popular because they're not as mobile as the bag. The important thing is that all these storage units keep biogas protected from any weather conditions and physical damage. Each system like this is a dream come true for people who love living off the grid. However, it's important to realize that to generate a decent amount of biogas, you'd need a whole farm and a big family. So there'll be plenty of waste produced. Solar Flow you don't need electricity to shower in the backyard. All you need is a portable shower and sunlight. It already sounds super easy, perfect for those who prefer things simple. But wait till you hear about setting it up. You just need to set up the base, attach the two shower parts, and then add the water temperature handle. Of course, installation time varies depending on the shower option. A 5-gallon system will be quicker to set up than a 9-gallon one. The water inside the shower is heated in a not-so-typical way for traditional solar devices. Instead of solar panels, the water stored within a hollow structure gets heated directly from the sun. The only downside to this setup is that DIY enthusiasts won't be able to adapt the solar panel to charge any devices. Apart from that, it's a fantastic solution, letting you shower with warm water without using electricity. Solar Facade Just slapping solar panels all over your roof won't necessarily put you at the forefront of self-sufficiency. 
Some are taking it a step further by decking out their home's facade with solar panels. If you see your neighbor's wall change like this, give them props because they definitely know their stuff in many areas. First off, that solar facade is really stylish. Just take a look at how a regular, unassuming wall transformed into something super modern and attention-grabbing. Secondly, having a solar facade increases a home's self-sufficiency. Check out this video showcasing a sunroof facade covering 375 square feet equipped with solar panels. Together, they generate 6.8 kilowatts of power, producing 6,490 kilowatt hours of free electricity annually. The only catch with this system is that installing it can be quite a hassle, taking up a lot of time. You've got to set up the mounts, the base, and then the panels themselves. And all this needs to be done at a certain height from the ground. Yeah, it's not easy, so it's best to hire professionals to do it. Here's another example of a solar facade that's a bit more advanced. The panels can actually open and close, letting more or less sunlight into the building as needed. Aquaponic. Vegetables? Fish? All grown right in your backyard? Sounds like a fantasy. It's not, because it's totally possible with aquaponics farms. Similar farms can come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. Take, for instance, Anders Farm's greenhouse system. It's not huge, but it fits in plenty of stuff. Inside, instead of regular soil beds, there's water stocked with fish. Plants don't grow in dirt here. They either float on special platforms in the water or grow in tubes supplied with nutrient liquid. The combo of fish and plants is the secret sauce behind the rise of these farms. Fish do their part by supplying nutrients to the plants, while the plants do theirs by purifying the water. But that's not all. Both the plants and fish are helping the farm owner. The setup not only makes homes independent, but also brings in a decent amount of money. Geothermal Heating System you can achieve full or partial autonomy in heating your home, not just with wood-burning stoves, but also by tapping into the Earth's energy. Geothermal systems are what make this possible. It's important to note that installing them is no walk in the park, so it's best done when you're building your home. Why? Because setting up a geothermal system involves digging up a lot of earth, running pipes through it, and then burying everything back. Also, you'll need to run pipes through specific areas of your house for heating. Furthermore, you'll need to invest a considerable amount of money in installing a heat pump, although that's a somewhat smaller problem. By installing such a system with all the necessary components, you can significantly increase the temperature inside your home during winter. With proper design, installation, and sufficient system size, your house can be fully heated without the need for additional electricity. And if you're still not sold on the system, it's worth mentioning that it can not only keep your home warm 24-7, but also cool it down on particularly hot days. Solar Canopy Solar States presents a simple solution for making your home more self-sufficient, a solar canopy. It shields you from rain, harsh sunlight, and generates energy all at once. Shielding against rain and hail might not be the first thing that comes to mind when you think of a canopy's perks. However, rest assured, modern solar panels are designed to be incredibly durable, even when someone's really determined to cause damage. Additionally, our company constructs canopy frames from aluminum, ensuring they can withstand not only rain, sun, and hail, but also stand up to strong winds. It's tough to say exactly how well these canopies perform since it all boils down to how big they are and how many solar panels they have, but take a look at this video showcasing a canopy with a 6.4 kilowatt power output. Not too bad for a canopy. Of course, it's worth noting that solar state sunshades offer maximum versatility. You can install a canopy on your roof or next to your house if you have the space. You can even set up a spot for parking your car with solar panels. It's all about using it wherever and however you want. That's the motto of this cool setup for sheltering from the rain and generating energy. Solar Dryers With Chatron's gadgets and the power of the sun, you can dry food to make it last longer without any electricity. All dryers from the company work the same way and have almost identical parts. 
Each one has a solar collector that warms the air, plus they all come with fans, pipes, and a special spot for drying stuff, and of course they all use the sun not just to heat things up, but also to run those fans, thanks to solar panels. Dryers come in various sizes, so you can find one that fits your needs. If you have a whole farm and need to dry a lot of crops, a small dryer won't cut it, you'll need a whole system. Some dryers come with built-in solar panels that power the fans inside. This seems like a smart idea because it protects the panels better, however, it means you can't detach them for other uses. Chatron offers a variety of dryers that can connect to unconventional drying spots like bags, making them super portable and easy to take anywhere you go. With these options, you're not limited to just one drying location. Here's another type of dryer design. It relies on a fan that spins solely from wind energy. It's a fresh addition to the world of self-sufficiency. Definitely worth considering.